So hi everyone, my name is Ashley and um, I am currently a student at the University of Washington in Seattle and I'm here today to um, show you all how to finger knit. So um, this is a fun activity. I learned how to do it when I was in like elementary school, so maybe seven or eight years old. Um, and like one of my friends when I was at daycare, they showed me how to do it and I've just like created a lot of things ever since. And so um, this is a really fun, like leisurely relaxing activity to do. Um, and it's fairly simple. Um, you just need like a yarn of some sort. So this is mine. It's, I think this is like a standard size and you can get it at um, any craft store, I think, like Joann's or Michael's. Um, I know at Target, they might sell it or Walmart too. So um, it's pretty um, easy to find, I think. And depending on how thick you would like the finger knitting, um, the finger knitting ropes to be, you can get a thicker string or a little bit thinner string if you would like, but this is the, the one that I like to use. And, um, oh, one second, let me get my actual creation so you can see that. So in the end, what you'll get is something that looks kind of like this. Um, this is made actually out of two different, or wait, three different strings. And so this is kind of the, what the pattern looks like. And this is one that I made, I tied it together so it could kind of be a necklace. I don't know if I can put it on, but yeah. Um, this is made out of a thicker string. And then this is made out of two different strings as well. And so, um, like I said, you could probably make like a necklace if you just tie it around your neck, or if you want to make a shorter one, um, you can make like a bracelet. I'm not too skilled in making like blankets or scarves, but um, yeah, you might be able to learn that if you look up, up on the internet. So I'll just get started here. Um, okay. So what you want to do is take the end of your string and then put it, I'm using my left hand by the way, um, because that's the one that I predominantly use, but yeah. Um, and then you want to put the end of the string kind of between your thumb and then like this part of your hand, this part of your palm. And then so the end will be here in the front while the, the rest of the string will be like in the back. And then what you want to do with this string in the back is put it in between your uh, index finger and then your middle finger. So it'll be in the front. So there's kind of like a loop in the back. Yeah. And then you'll want to loop it back uh, to the back. So in front of your middle finger and then behind your ring finger. So that's what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like in the back. And then so with the string in the back, you'll want to bring it back to the front in between your ring finger and your pinky finger. So like so. Um, yeah, and then so what you'll have is something that kind of looks like this. Um, and we're halfway done, almost to the finger knitting part. And then, so what you'll want to do is you want to take it back around to um, the beginning again, but basically we'll just be doing the same process backwards so that there's loops in between all of your fingers. So um, you wanna take the string that's currently here in the front and then bring it around your pinky finger. So now there's like a loop um, around your pinky finger. And then you wanna take it in front of your ring finger and then take it behind. Uh, your middle finger and it works it works if you um kind of like move your fingers around to help you take the string uh where you need it to go um because you kind of want this string to be like free and you don't want like the rest of your string to be kind of interfering with it so here's where we are currently um we're almost done with the loop so right now your your string is back here and then now you want to take it behind your middle finger and then bring it in front between um, your middle finger and then your index finger. So now it's in front. And then one more step is just to make or bring it, you know, behind your thumb. So now what you should have 
is um, loops between all of your fingers, kind of like resting here and on the top of your palm. And this is what it looks like in the back. Okay, so now what we have is your, your string should be behind your thumb, right? And then what you want to do is make a loop around your whole hand. So take your string and you're gonna bring it behind your hand, behind and then just bring it in the front again. So do that again. So take it, and then right now it's behind your thumb, but take it around and then just loop. So it kind of looks like this. The back doesn't really matter yet, um, but that's where your finger knitting is going to go. So right now this is what you have. And then, um, and then this is where you actually start the uh, finger knitting process. That's just like very repetitive, but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like first. And so um, it doesn't really matter which finger you start with first. Um, you could go this way or it could go this way. Um, it'll all end up the same. So what you want to do is take the loop in between your fingers and make sure they're all kind of like loose so you're able to like move them, um, but not too loose that it like falls off or whatever, but yeah. So take one of the loops and then you're gonna wanna put it over this, this string um, above it. So just go kind of like that. And then you just do that for the rest of your fingers, one at a time. Just take it and then put it over. Take it, put it over. And then one last one, take it, put it over. So now, what you have is what you kind of started with um, before you put the string around your hand. And then this, you, from here, you're just gonna restart and then put the string around your hand again. And then you're at where you started. And then so you just, you know, continue going like this. And um, for the first few rounds of, of doing this, uh, you're not really gonna see much here. It's kind of gonna look a little not like what I showed you in the beginning, but um, eventually it'll end up looking or coming more together. And then, um, yeah, it'll look like more like a finger knitting kind of string yarn thing. So this is what you just keep doing. Um, just keep going around like so. And if you see that it gets a little bit like tight around your hands, you could kind of um, like spread your fingers out a little bit and then like push these out of the webs of your fingers. That kind of helps. Um, otherwise, it shouldn't be too tight to where your fingers are hurting or like they feel tight. It should feel like comfortable and you could still move like the string. So I'll just continue doing this um, for a bit. And then, so this like little like string right here, the end of the string that we started with, um, eventually it'll like come here to the back um, when, when the finger knitting part gets longer. But I like to keep it kind of here in the front so it doesn't get in the way for a little bit until um, this gets longer. So I'll just keep doing this for a bit. Ashley, you showed, um earlier that there was uh, some finger knitting that you'd done with multiple um, strings of yarn. Mm -hmm. And so does this process look the same for those? Yeah, so um, similar to how um, this one is, this is made out of two strings. Essentially, you would just take another, um, you know, string or another piece of yarn and then you would do the exact same process and put them, like weave them around your fingers to create the loops. Um, but the only difference is that you would be taking like these two strings and then there would be two strings right here. So just imagine everything here, but with two strings. And then, um, yeah, you would essentially do the same process. Um, for that, or like for finger knitting with multiple strings, you just wanna make sure that you take both strings and then put them over um, so that it doesn't, um, mess up or like get, yeah, a little weird. <laughs> and what about if you start a finger knitting like this 
um, and all of a sudden you've got to go somewhere, but you're not done. What could somebody do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I've definitely come across that situation um, when I've created, you know, finger knitting things. So what I like to do is actually take a pen or a pencil. Um, you could take a chopstick, a straw, anything that's long enough um, so that basically this will take place of um, your fingers so that these, these loops don't unravel. So um, basically what you would like, what you want to do is take your pen or whatever you have and then you kind of want to just put the loops through it. It's um, a little a little weird at first to try to get them off your fingers, but you just want to make sure that they're in place and so that it won't like unravel because if that happens, then it'll, um, you know, the whole thing will kind of unravel. But um, yeah, so you just want to take these off your fingers carefully, but make sure that the pen or whatever you have is secured. I'm not sure if it's visible to here, but yeah, just want to make sure these are secured like so. And it's also a good thing to make sure that the like the order of the loops are also the same order on the pen or whatever you're putting it on, because then that'll be helpful in knowing which which fingers to put the loops back on. So this is what we have. And then you could just like move it down to make sure it doesn't come off. But yeah, so um, what I would do is just kind of place this down anywhere and then you can pick it back up and then just um, try to recall like which, you know, loops your fingers went on. So for me, I know that this is my index, second finger, third finger, and then pinky. And then um, to put it back on, you would, also kind of be careful with this process to make sure it doesn't come off the pen too fast, but you just put these back onto your fingers, like carefully. And like so, Ooh, I should have used the other end of this pen, but it's okay. Uh -huh. That, yeah, but I would advise that you do like keep this or keep the finger knitting that you're doing all in one I guess stage because it does make it a little bit easier to um, go back and continue and then finish it. But yeah, and then so it's back in your finger and then you can go ahead and restart this process again. Um, and then so I guess this is um, long enough to to kind of tug at it, but essentially what you'll get is this long tail at the end. You could just pull that and sometimes there'll be like loops here at the end, but that's normal. Um, if you just pull hard enough, it might tighten and then look like this. But um, yeah, and then from here, you just continue. And then I'll go ahead and try to make this a little bit longer so I could show you all how to end it, um, which isn't too hard either but I'll try to make it a decent length first. And then every so often um, you can go ahead and like tug at this to make sure that it's all kind of uniform. And um, other variations that you could do with finger knitting that I find is interesting is that um, you don't only have to do it with four fingers. You can actually, if you want it to be thinner, you could do it with only three fingers or two or even one. Um, I know that one might seem like very thin and it might not look um, similar to this, but I have seen in the past that with people that do it once, um, since the string will be like pretty thin, you know, um, they'll like go ahead and redo that finger knitting process with the finished piece of the one um, string, one finger finger knitting string. Yeah. So that might be an option if you do want to make it a little more interesting. Um, but yeah. And um, 
I know a string that's like multicolored, like mine is multicolored, but I don't know if I'll get to this darker pink string in time. But um, with string that's multicolored, it's really cool to see like the patterns change within the finger knitting um, creation because uh, I think just this part of it like makes it makes it nice to see at the end. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little bit, I think pretty sizable. So I'll go ahead and end this now, end this um, creation now. So essentially what you would like to do is take um, a pair of scissors and then you want to cut off enough to, so, so go ahead and like put, a uh, string like this to, to look like you're going to redo um, redo a, a roll and then cut off kind of like near the end of that so that you have enough to to go around. Um, so maybe like this length or just enough to you know go around. And then what you want to do with this end is you want to loop it through each of um, each of these these loops. <laughs> But at the same time, you want to take the loops off of your fingers. So I'll try to do it a little bit slowly. But so I'm taking this end and I'm starting here at the pinky. And then I put it through the loop, put it through the loop like so. And then I can go ahead and actually take this off my finger because me putting this through the loop is going to ensure that it doesn't unravel. And then you just want to do that again with the the next loop, put it through, and then take it off, and then the next loop, put it through, and take it off, and then with the last one, you just slide that through, and then take it off. And then from here, just tug at the end to kind of tighten it again, and then you have your finger knitting. <laughs> um, and if you if your ends of the string are like too long, you can go ahead and snip them off or tie them together to like make a necklace. Um, yeah, and then add to your collection. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's kind of the basics of how to do it. Um, it does take some time to get used to, but like once you get into the routine of it, it comes like second nature. Uh, sometimes I like take a whole ball of string and then just do, do the finger knitting while I'm like watching TV or, you know, doing other things, watching videos, um, because it's just like a nice, you know, task to do while I'm resting <laughs> or you know, relaxing. So, yeah. So thank you so much for finger knitting with me. Um, I had a really great time being here and I hope you all are able to share your creations with kudos. <laughs>